Thanks for checking out this video on the 2017 Dodge Grand Caravan SE. It is going to feature a 3.6 liter V6 engine. It is going to be front wheel drive. Um, this is going to give you a center bench seat. Um, you'll have the bench seat in the back then as well. Um, so we'll make our way around this vehicle, noticing all the features that it does have to offer. Make our way around again, noticing any sort of dense things or imperfections that you could expect to find on this particular vehicle. We'll start here at the front. So you can see you do have a dark charcoal color. Um, as far as the van is concerned, you're going to have black and some chrome or silver accents here throughout. So you'll have the black grill with the silver accents. Um, same um, as you make your way throughout this vehicle. So you do have you know those running boards that are going to go down through, um, which is going to make it easier to get into and out of the van. Uh, your tire tread depths are going to be around three quarter tread. Uh, we do guarantee that with all the vehicles that we sell here, and I will give you exact tread depths once we make our way inside the vehicle here in just a second. Taking a look, move this key here. Taking a look at your interior, you are going to have cloth seats. It is kind of like a velvet or a suede. Um, all of it has been very well maintained though, um, so you're not going to see much as far as like staining or discoloration in this. Um, it does smell great, um, so I can safely say that no one has been smoking in the vehicle. Um, we do have your tire tread depths here on the inspection form, which is located in the glove compartment. So you are at 8, 7, and 6, 30 seconds as you make your way around the vehicle. Brake pads are going to be at 11 and 13, 30 seconds, so not having to worry with any of that anytime soon. All of it's been taken care of for you. They did also receive a fresh oil change, um, as well as a new PA state inspection. Just showing you that you do have a little bit of extra storage space up there then as well. In your door, you are going to have your powered locks, powered windows. You'll have your cup holders and some storage compartments down below. I mean, you can see you do have a touch of tan um, as you make your way throughout this van then as well. Opening up passenger side door here, you will see, as I had mentioned, that you do have a bench seat for the front. You'll also have the bench seat um, for the back. So the back, you can seat three. Up front here, you can see two. Everything is pushed to the one side, so this is where you would have to go through um, in order to access that back. Um, you do have your cup holders down here uh, or back here, so that's always nice for those back seat passengers. And then this lever here, if you pull it up and push the seat forward, which I don't have two hands, so I can't do it at the moment, that will all just slide forward, um, or I'm sorry, lean forward um, on top of itself, uh, so you can have easier access to the back there. Do have um, your mesh seating back here so you can always store things in there. And then you do have all your heating and cooling options for your back vents. Now, we'll point out just like you can kind of see over there in the door, same thing here. You do have a cup holder um, for the two seats up front here, which is always convenient. Taking a look in the back here. You can see, again, that you have those three rows. Um, these are very easily folded down, so they're actually stowaway. So you can pull these or pull down here. And these will actually fold into um, the floor, which is always convenient. So if you only need to have two people seated, you can set them in the front. If you have a lot of storage space that you need, you can set these down. And then you'll have this whole back area for storage. So really convenient as far as that is concerned. We will take a look in the back on the passenger side. Again, just showing that the bench seat is here. And then you'll have that back seat back here, but you can't actually enter it from here um, because the lever is over on that side and everything is pushed this way. Go ahead and hop in here. You will see that you do have your powered locks, windows, and your mirrors on your door. You'll have your cup holders. Um, you're going to have manual adjustments as far as your seats are concerned. And then you have all your light options over here. Now you do get two keys with the purchase of the vehicle. So here is one of them. So again, it is a 2017. You're going to have right around 65,000 miles. So you'll see here 65,263 miles. Um, <clears throat> Over here, you're going to have your like um, adjustments as far as your display is concerned. Um, then you'll have your cruise control options over here. 
all of your drive modes are going to be here, which will then in turn move the green to the corresponding drive mode that you are in. So you do have your CD player, AM, FM, radio. Um, down below that, you're going to have all your heating and cooling options um, right here. Your eco mode and, mode and traction control. You do have two cup holders here that will slide out. And then you have your storage compartment as well as two more charging docks down here. Up top here, you're gonna have your light options so you can push those and turn them on. You'll have your visor here. Um, and then just taking a quick look at your Carfax history report. You can see that there have been zero accidents or damages reported on this vehicle and it has had um, one owner. So no accidents, no damage, um, 60 some thousand miles. Overall interior is in really good condition. Um, so we're just gonna make our way throughout the exterior of the vehicle. Um, and just noticing any sort of dense things or imperfections you could expect to find um, on this particular vehicle, which I didn't really notice many as we were making our way around. So nothing necessarily like jumps out at you. Um, stone chipping is typically pretty common. I will say there's still not that much. There's a couple right here and right down through here and right there. But overall, not much to note. I'm sure that the running board keeps a lot of it from coming up and smacking into the vehicle, but oh, that actually just came off. There is a little scuff right here. And right back here. Nothing else to really point out. So if you're in the market for a van, this could be a great option for you. Um, definitely has all of the basics, gets you um, plenty of miles left on it. So give us a call, 717-485-4224. Check us out online at www.allthingsautomotive.com or come down and visit the showroom, 21518 Great Cove Road in McConnellsburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks and have a great day.